Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. Hey, I've got a public service announcement for you today. This is about upcoming episodes. We're going to do 140 this week. We'll begin 141 next week. And then the week of the 19th through the 23rd of December, I'm going to broadcast my annual reading of the Christmas story from Matthew and Luke. So there won't be any study in the Psalms that week. There'll just be a reading of the story of Christmas. And then the week after Christmas Day, which is on Sunday, the 26th through the 30th, I'll probably broadcast four days that week, the 27th through the 30th. So just a little bit of a change. And it's kind of kind of different this year because we have Christmas on a Sunday. So we're going to have to change that up just a little bit. So if you have your Bible today, why don't we go ahead and turn over to Psalm 140. And I said yesterday, this is a Psalm of David to the choir master. And this is the voice of the church. We saw in yesterday's passage, we read 1 through 3. And I told you I was dividing this according to the Selahs in this Psalm. The principal verb in those first three verses is deliver me. So deliverance is the principal verb. Everything in those three verses hangs on that verb. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man, from the violent man, who, and then we have a description of those men. They devise evil, they stir up conflicts, they sharpen their tongues, they're poison of asp, and so forth. Today, we're going to see a second verb. It's close to the deliver me verb, but not quite. Let me read for you verses 4 and 5. O Lord, keep me from the hand of the wicked man. From the violent man, you will keep me. They are hiding a trap for me. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set snares for me. Selah. Well, that sounds like David, doesn't it? I mean, if we go back to the Davidic Psalms that we started with in the first book of the Psalter, Man alive, it's, this, is the, this is that section all over again. The evil man setting snares and traps. The evil man working his way, stirring up conflict and warfare, as we saw yesterday. Well, you notice today the verb here is to keep, and we have it twice. And I think, let me just check real quick. And I, I have to pull up my Bible. I don't have it handy. Right Here it is. So I think we have two different verbs here. In verse 4, keep me, yep, and then we have in verse 5, a different verb there as well, to keep, yep. So, two different verbs, same idea. You're going to keep from the violent man. You're going to keep from the wicked man. So, what is this idea of keeping? Well, the first verb there is the word for keeping a gate. It's defense. The Lord's going to defend you against And then the second one is that sense of, um, how do we put it, like you care for a plant, you keep it, and so you're tending it, and you're making it grow. So there's two different ideas here. So there's the keeping the defense part, and then there's the keeping the maintenance part, the, the growing part. So the Lord is keeping me from the violent man, or from the hand of the wicked man, and from the violent man, he is keeping me. So... Even though he's defending me, he's also helping me in the midst of, in the face of. He sets a table before my enemies, you see. In the presence of them, he keeps me. So it's just beautiful. I mean, the way the Lord works this work in us. And then, verse 5, they are hiding a trap for me. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set snares for me. Of course they do. That's what they do. This is all they do. This is what the wicked are about. Go back to Psalm 9 and 10. Remember, those are those two psalms, especially 10, is our great definition on the wicked. It tells us who the wicked man is, what he is. Now, the psalmist elaborates further on wickedness throughout the psalm, but there we have our dictionary definition. That's the starting point. That's the foundation for understanding the wicked. And here we have him again, hiding the trap, setting a net, placing a snare. That's what he does. So we come to the end of part two or section two here with the Selah. Join me tomorrow. We're going to look at verses six through eight, a great confession of faith on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. 
I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.